Exorcist Believer is going to be coming out in the next couple of months. And I have been cautiously optimistic, I guess, about it, but mm -hmm. the trailer did not have me impressed. I like the, the stark contrast imagery. I think the fact that they're taking kind of a goofy approach of having two girls being possessed instead of it just being one, that's kind of fun. Not in like a, hey, we're paying respect to the exorcist fun way, but just like a fun concept for a horror movie. I don't mind that. Here's what I've since learned about the exorcist believer. And I was talking about this with one very Catholic man, Ryan Katsu Rivera, only the other day. They got rid of the Christian Catholic element from the movie as a source of combating the demon, which how so there's no exorcism in oh there's there's plenty of exorcisms but it's not based in catholicism here's what happens the exorcism is supposed to fail and okay. what saves the girls a father's love <laughs> he loves them so much the demon is repulsed by the love and and comes out of the girls bodies and he it saves the day the so power of love. if we take it back to a couple of episodes ago, when uh, Pikachu cries and his tears revive Ash Ketchum, <laughs> they took the idea from the Pokemon movie for the Exorcist Believer. That's Which, that's. Crazy. What does that say about all the previous Exorcist movies that you just didn't love your kid enough? Yeah, that's it. Yeah. You didn't need to bring a priest to get puked on. You didn't need to be told that your mother sucks cock and nail or cock sorry plural my bad multiple cocks yeah <laughs> by the way i found on archive.org there's a tv broadcast of the exorcist from 1981 that was aired on cbs as the movie of the week and i thought it was so interesting because there's obviously a ton of vulgarity in that movie and it's a couple of it's it's almost 10 years after the movie had been released and they're preparing it for television william friedkin did not contact Mercedes McCambridge to dub her lines to be more TV friendly. Hmm. Here's what they did. He dubbed the lines. No. He like... was the demon for those lines. And I'll tell you what, I heard that. I'm like, this is going to be hilarious. And then I watched it. I was like, oh, actually, his his demon voice is kind of good. It's kind of <laughs> dark, kind of weird. Uh, I don't mind it. I don't. I forget what he says. I think he says, like, ah, oh, your, your mother's rotting. But they do the filters and shit, you know, and it's not just his his William Friedkin voice where he's fucking tearing apart. Uh, yeah, refugees. your mother kisses man in hell. <laughs> <laughs> in heck. Uh, yeah, that actually sounds like it would be fun to watch. Um, that That's terrible. I mean, I wasn't excited for this to begin with, but yeah, yeah that, that just, so that means that all of the mutilation that those girls went through in those exorcist movies could have been cured if their parents just loved them enough. You just cared a little bit more about your children. This wouldn't enough. be happening right now. Yeah, that sucks. Wow. Well, parents. Ellen Burstyn, she signed on, I think, for three movies or something. There might be. I mean, but here's the thing. They're testing the film. It got notoriously horrible test scores. Exorcist Believer did. The audience hated this movie. So... I know that from the script to the final film of Halloween Kills and Halloween Ends, a lot of changes were made. Tons of changes. They were changing that left and right like the Flash movie. Mm -hmm. So anything can happen, and that final result of the film might be something very different. But that sounds about right for modern Hollywood. Is You're not going to do Christianity or Catholicism as the good guy that drives the evil out because you know, you're... Your illusion of that thing has been shattered in recent days. Although they did it with Exorcist the beginning. 